Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling and to the unboxing of this Russian Navy Vayrag. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a missile cruiser. It's um, made by Trumpeter. And let's open this up and have a look because when I do unboxings, it starts with the box it came in. So we'll uh, let's have a look inside this one. Okay, so I, I think the pronouncing is Variag. Variag. I have to say that about a hundred times and so I get to pronounce it correctly. All right, so let's see what this thing looks like. Get this open. Now I buy a lot of my models from BNA, and uh, they pack things really, really well. We've got newspaper there, and then we have all these little cushions, plastic with air in them. So even though it's in a box, it's not going to move in the box that it's packed in. But they've even got some. That along, look, they've got something here to stop it sliding. It's, it's certainly not going to move. Okay, it's out. It's out of the way. Okay, here we are. Yeah, get the wear off it. There it is. So, trumpeter. 1350 scale Russian Navy Varyag. I think I pronounced it right then. So this ship is 531 millimeters long, so it's just over half a meter long. It's 60 millimeters wide, so it's six centimeters wide. And 400 plus parts. All right. So what else have we got? So this first missile cruiser was laid in 1976. That was the first ship of the class was launched in 1979. Uh, it was commissioned in 1983 under the name of Slava. The, then it was renamed with, she was finally renamed with Moskava and they've done something about recommissioning with a different hull number after an overhaul in 2000. And it was the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Uh, they launched three other vessels of this class. Uh, the Marshal Ustinov in the Northern Fleet, 1986. There was one commissioned in the Pacific Fleet And then it goes on to how long it was, 186 metres, 20 metres wide, 11,500 tonnes. Very good. All right. Have a look inside. Nice cover. Yeah, there's a beautiful bright um, blue ocean on that. Uh, Certainly looks quite nice. Okay, oh, there's also on the side here, we've got a view of it here, from the top down view of the deck. There's also a couple of side views of it there. So, very good. I'll put that aside. All right, now I'll just uh, adjust the camera we can see this a bit better. I'm back in a second. Okay, that's a bit better. So let's see, what have we got? We've got uh, some clear sprues. 
So this looks like we've got some clear parts of the superstructure. Uh, I see a radar there. Yeah, there's a few interesting pieces in there. Oh yeah, so there's some clear plastic radar dish there. There's another side of the some of the bridge area superstructure. Not often you get those parts as clear as clear parts. So maybe there could be an opportunity to light the model. Um, if you have those windows um, sort of scratched out and, and not painted, you could have some light coming through those windows. Okay, so we'll put that aside. We've got the instruction we'll have a look at in a sec. We've got another more clear part here. And this looks like like a helicopter, possibly there. Yeah, there's a helicopter. The rotors, everything, either open or folded. You have the option. That's good. Um, we have lots of pieces here. We've got little life boys that go around the side of the ship. Uh, some more radars on there. There's two sprues in there. Good. Uh, here we go. We've got the stand here. Stand to put together. So there's the deck. Deck is in two pieces. Oh, there's also the name of the ship here to go on the stand. Variag. That's good. So yeah, decks in two pieces. Quite a lot of detail on that. It looks really nice. Yeah. Now we've got more slight like parts of the uh, superstructure here. We've got the launches, boats there. Uh, propellers are in here. Yeah, more superstructure parts. The sprues look nice and neat. Nice and tidy too. What else do we have? Okay, so here we have our missile launchers that run down either side of the ship. Makes it look a bit unique to other um, warships um, they look quite good there's quite a bit of detail on those as well all for that that's good and we got these two sprues here which is uh, some missile hatches I guess for the deck there looks like more um, superstructure areas Two sprues in here, both different. Some, uh, maybe some mast, a bit of the mast there. That looks really good. And um, what else? Photo etch. Then we got some of the radars there in photo etch. It's one, just one sheet in there. Very thick too. Nice solid photo edge. Okay. And now we have the hull. So it's all in one piece. And we have a choice of doing it uh, waterline if we want. There is a one in there, piece in there for waterline, or you've got the full hull in there. And that looks really nice. Very clean too. There's not going to be anything to do much sanding or any. There's no seam line. Um, possibly a little bit there, but that's all. 
Yeah, very, very nice. And there's something under there. Probably the decals, I would say. Yeah, so that would just be the ship number. There's the helicopter landing markings there for the rear, and the flags are on there as well. Yeah. All right, so I'll put this aside and we'll have a look at the instructions, okay? I'll just be back in a second. Okay, so instructions. Well, first of all, we've got the paint guide. And in the usual trumpeter fashion, nice big pictures here. Clearly showing what's what. Um... Just looking at the colours here, you've got things that are black. Not sure what's going to be black on here, other than the. Actually, the waterline is white on this ship, which is a first, which is different. Um, we've got gold, which would be for the screws. Um, now we've got I, J, and grey. IJ in grey is H51, which is the, let me just check, H51, oh that's a sort of a darker grey where some of these radars have that darker grey on them, all the radar dishes, pieces, so that's good. Um, there's a dark dull grey, which H3 one seven which is well that's what that is so those are the dark let me see tell you what it'll make it easier for me if i'm not looking at it upside down sorry about that you'll have to suffer <laughs> okay let's check this out now okay so what we have is a a barley gray that's b-a-r-l-e-y gray which is Basically what the whole side of the ship is. Never heard of that grey. Um, these colours are hobby colour or Mr. Colour. That's the only reference they're having. Now the deck here that you see in here is actually a cocoa, cocoa brown. Um, so that's going to be an interesting one to try and match up. Um... And also the uh, waterline is a white. Well, white, when I say white, it's grey as well. It's an IJN grey. So it's almost a white. So probably something like an insignia grey. Which are different. Uh, I've only ever seen them black before. Um, yeah. But anyway, it's a nice looking ship. I like this. Um, there's no wood, wood on this deck. In fact... I'm just trying to see where it shows uh, number two is black. All right, so a lot of this deck here all around is black. So that'll be interesting. Um, whether I would use a, a straight black or a very a dark gray, maybe a bit better. Anyway, that's your own choice on that. Do whatever you like there. <laughs> okay. So now the instructions, the usual on the front, uh, warnings, uh, what all the different signs will mean throughout the manual. Here we have parts. So like I said, there's an upper hull, lower, lower full hull, and a waterline plate. And then you've got front deck and rear deck. Then we've got sprue A, B, C, and D. And over the page we have more. E1, E2, F1, F2, F2, F2. There's two of them and two of them. The stand. G is the helicopter. We have our photo etch, our name plate, and the decals. All right. So going through the start with this, 
um, is pretty much attaching the deck to the top of the boat. It's usually a good start, um, which means that straight up we're going to have to think about um, painting, painting some uh, the side of the ship there. Uh, maybe before that goes on or not, this is going to be a very different colour uh, to the ship, so probably best painting these pieces separate. Now there's a few holes marked on here to be made on the rear deck and it goes on to here's uh, straight away we're putting uh, parts on the anchors uh, surprisingly it didn't come with anchor chain um, so you probably have to add that yourself if you don't want to use what's already marked on the deck um, so here we got some structures going on the deck it's like so the next page, we've got these uh, covers here for these missile launchers that come from below deck. Uh, so it actually tells you, which is good, SAN launchers, make two. There's another couple there. Uh, so there's quite a few bits and pieces going on the deck here, uh, including looks like stairs. Uh, here we're doing a couple of guns, fire control, kite screech, whatever that is, don't know what that is, uh, there's a front door, is that right, let's check what that says, it says front door, that doesn't look like a door, it's part of the radar, but anyway, palm front, and there's uh, interesting some of the names, there's an air search radar there, so that's good. That's putting some of the radar. Uh, here we're building some of the superstructure up, uh, but not putting any of those down. Ah, oh, so you go over the page. Lots and lots of pieces going on that main superstructure, which forms part of the main bridge. Um, we've got some photo etch going here. all detailed stuff there that's good and here we've got the missile launchers so they all got to go be put together very nice we're going to make eight of those um, there's heaps of photo edge pieces along here for different sections this, this ship is a bit, is special because, if I can just show you for a moment, there's actually, if you can see on there, there's three main superstructures. And what I found out was that each one can individually control every aspect of this ship. So in the case of uh, being under attack, if someone was to disable this whole main tower here, destroy the second one. This area here has a control system that can operate every function of the ship. Each individual one here can operate every function on this ship as backup. Uh, very, very interesting. Okay, uh, radar is going together. Uh, sea search radar there. It's good. It's some more sides of another that's that's the another bit of the superstructure goes into the center of the ship and here we've got more superstructure going down the stern of the ship now all these pieces going on finally here so you got this at the stern we've got the crane and which is used to launch the launches boats uh, that superstructure going down and then we're working on the Upper hull there, it looks like. An assembly of the helicopter. And, geez, you'd think you'd be done at the helicopter, but of course, then we've got to put all these missile launchers all on the side of the deck. 
Uh, they go all up on the upper hull here. There's a fire, fire control room. Further on, more launches. All the launches that were built up previously all go on the side. Another fire control area there. There's the launch boats themselves. Oh, to last, of course, the um, the props, the, tr the shafts, the rudder, um, which is a good point. That and then the bottom, the actual hull itself goes on at the very end. Um, that's a good thing because that uh, means that um, none of these are going to get knocked off. Um, a lot of instructions tell you to put those on uh, in the beginning when you when you're like doing the beginning of the ship, well, like you know you're up to attaching this and doing the hull all, all up front. These usually get damaged or knocked off. So that's all the end, and then finally at the very bottom you put the stand and the nameplate. And that's it. So, um, we might uh, open up a couple of the sprues and just have a look at the detail of maybe uh, the deck, for example. Let's have a look at the deck. we will back in a sec. Okay, so, here we go. I've got the two pieces of the deck out, and I was just looking at... Uh, how nice they look um, and I thought wow they looked a bit bare because all the ships I built all have uh, wood decking whereas this doesn't and I'm thinking oh that's why there's nothing there's no lines or anything there but there is a lot of little boxes and little pieces and uh, yeah lots of little detail there is the anchor chain there but it's very light I'm definitely um, taking off that anchor chain and placing my own there drill a couple of holes or open those two up so the chain can go down through that um, that would definitely be worth doing uh, lots of little boxes and things on here that all need to be painted uh, that's where the only gun is I'm not sure what size that was but there's a nice big anti-aircraft gun on that that's all just sections for the superstructure. Yeah, down here looks like where the boats will be. They've already got the supports for the launches on either side already there. Um, going down, it looks like somewhere around here would be where the missile launches will be. Although that may be at the front. I'm too sure I have to go back to the photo. Um, and down here we have somewhere where a helicopter will go. There's a hangar bay for it in here somewhere. Uh, so we could do some detail there. I'm not sure how open this area will be, but there's definitely a hangar bay there, so we could probably do something in there. If you, well, I will be putting this together soon as well. I'm looking forward to this. Now, I'll just have a quick look at this, uh, the hull. Going to... Open this up. Got that nicely protected there. Okay. So this is quite uh, quite tidy. There'll be a few little rough spots there from the mold. They'll come off easy. Um, there is a line running all the way along there, but it sort of becomes a part of this. So I would say to probably sand a little bit along there, taking that off. Um, if you're doing a water line, well then you'll have this to use. That's fine, put that aside. And now actual side of the ship and it's you know not much detail there there is I can see a bit of a star on there sort of showing there's no hole where the anchors come out so I may have to drill them out 
the portholes I will I would be drilling those out definitely drill all those out uh, so yeah they'll be needed to obviously all these pieces in here be tidied up but you don't need to it's all going to be hidden there so I mean let's see how the fit is There. Go on like that. Go that. That looks really nice there. All the way down to there. Yeah. Actually, that looks like a really nice, neat fit. Nothing's out of shape, nothing's warped. The way it is here, it's it's got a an edge to bring up and see the, the way that is. So that there is where this will sit inside of. So it's it's not going to go anywhere. That's it. Very good. Very good. All right. But what I usually do is uh, make the waterline um, mark be that edge on here. Although because it's going to be just a white or light grey waterline, probably best to tape up the bottom of this all the way around. Uh, it's also a way of, well, when it's black, it's a good way to conceal any, um, you know, any join marks so I really don't think there will be you won't be able to this is this is remarkably well fitting um, yeah so well done trumpeter there all right so that's it that's the unboxing of the Russian Navy Baryag so I'll be right saying that from now on and um, yeah, it looks like a good kit. It's not something that you see built. Um, it's not a popular ship, but it looks different. It's that missile cruiser thing. It's, I mean, I've built aircraft carriers. I've built all the other ships with their huge turrets and uh, catapults with launch planes. And I thought, well, let's do something that hasn't got any of that. Let's do something completely different. And uh, this would be a, a good example of it, of a missile cruiser that, you know, you've only got one gun at the front here, uh, and that's it. Just that anti-aircraft gun, or, well, I don't know or what that could be. Um, but all the missile um, tubes in here uh, is just something completely different right down to the helicopter on the rear there so uh, yeah something different all right so thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and depending on when you see this I may have this already built um, but you can go back and look at all my other builds if you're interested and hit the notifications bell so you get notified of each uh, video as it's uploaded and, and released and um, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video give us a comment below um, have you built this have you come across any issues any problems with it if you've got any tips uh, to help me out before I start it um, yeah uh, comments are welcome all right so thanks a lot and I hopefully I'll see you in another video okay bye for now cheers